of the family of Abdurrahman Fatai, the sole brother that is missing. As she said, on the 31st, DSS came to the house to make an arrest and she was not around because she just stepped out. Only for her to get back, she saw men in black with marks in the compound. Yes. Then she tried asking, who are these people? And one of the neighbors said they introduced themselves as DSS officers. So there was something like a scanner that they were using to go around the apartment. And when it got to their door, which is to be my brother's door, they broke into the door and they started dragging him out. Yes. So we tried approaching, what is going on, sir? They said we should step back, that they are doing their job. Yes. And they also went to the car wash where he was even washing his car. They took his, they car. Took his car away, took his drove car. off. Since then, we are expecting that at least if it's to be an arrest, you should make a contact with the family or somebody about his whereabouts. But nothing has been heard since then. So we don't understand what is going on. We even went with our lawyer to the DSS uh, office. They chased us out that we should go and write a, a written letter on what we want to inquire about, which we did. And since then, no response. No response. So I don't know what is happening. It's, it's looking like an abduction, like they just kidnapped my brother. I don't know what is happening. Please, I'm calling on to Nigeria and I'm calling on to the government. At least they should tell me where my brother is and the crime he has committed. Because it's, 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 it's not getting funny anymore. Since 31st, till today, we have not heard anything about my brother. For crying out loud, he's even asthmatic. My mother is in the hospital. She collapsed after hearing the incident. The family is worried. The wife is worried. The children is worried. And he's the breadwinner of the family. Please, I'm calling on to Nigeria. I'm calling on to the government to help us find our brother. Help us find him. Even if he committed something outrageous, at least we should know where he is. That is how they are operating. Please, please, Nigerians. Thank you very much. Please. My name is Umar Nimatullah. I'm here because of my brother. On the 31st of December 2022, I went out to get some things. On my way back, I saw some men in our compound. So I asked my neighbor, though I was scared because I don't know them, they were on black. So I asked my neighbor who they are. My neighbor told me that it's DSS officers. So I had to wait by the gate. So I was still looking at them. They took something from one door to the other. So when they get to our our door, they had to break the door inside. They dragged my brother out. I don't know what's going on. So I had to ask them what was going on. So they told me that I should go inside and sit down. So I had to I had to go inside. I, though I was crying to them, they don't want to answer. So I had to go and sit down. I don't know what's going on. So the on monday i went to their office with my lawyer when, when i get there they chase us out that they said we should go they uh, we should go and wrote a letter we should go and write a letter so we went there we wrote a letter to them till now we haven't get any information no information nothing at all so i don't know please help me my my mother is in pain she she felt she she she, she fell sick since then she's she, she's in the hospital i don't know what to do please help me please Please, I need your help, please. Even if it's not the DSS that came to carry my brother, at least let's hear something from him. Let them at least come out and say they are not the ones that took him. 
so we will know where to start from please I am begging. This is his picture and these are the letters that we have written so far. But there have not been any response. Thank you very much.